tonight is your chance to get educated about the big issues facing Arizona this election. The Secretary of State's office is hosting a ballot measure town hall for voters, and there are only a few of these left. We've got the details here on your screen. This one starts at 6 p.m. on the Santan Valley campus of Central Arizona College. Now, when it comes Early voting has already been going on for nearly a week now in Arizona, but we are still getting calls from viewers who say they don't have their ballot yet. Last week, the Secretary of State's office said to expect your ballot in the mail early this week. So if you haven't gotten it yet, don't panic, even if someone else in your household has already received theirs. We were also told you may get two, and not to be concerned about that either. Some are claiming voter fraud after Indiana's Secretary of State confirmed thousands of birthdays were recently changed. Now Arizona officials are on fraud watch. Jennifer Martinez tells us the steps they're taking to prevent this problem from happening in the Grand Canyon State. Nearly 9,300 people died in Pima County just last year. Many of them registered voters set to cast their vote this November. So how can we be sure that people who have died do not cast a vote? F. Ann Rodriguez with the Pima County Recorder's Office tells me there are multiple ways her office is notified, including by the Pima County Health Department. There's also paid obituaries that give us enough information. People will do that one. Voters have given us copies of their death certificates of their other late spouses. So we get all those things. And while many spouses report the death, some could cast an invalid vote. But this is where Rodriguez insists signatures come into play. If we question the signature, we're going to be calling them because the one thing my staff will always say is my policy. If we're questioning the signature, we must speak to the voter. We have to actually speak to the voter. Here in Pima County, nearly 80% of people send in early ballots, and some people forget, winding up with two votes for one person. Because the poll worker will have the information that um, that person has been issued an early ballot. The poll worker has no idea if, the, if that voter has returned their ballot to us, and that's why they're given the provisional ballot. But once those ballots go in for the count, it will be flagged as having an early ballot already submitted. In our continued coverage of Proposition 5, today we're hearing from those in favor of legalizing recreational marijuana and voting yes on Prop 205. We spoke to the chairman of the Yuma County Cannabis Coalition.